Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. And um, I thought I'd mention a class of beings here on Earth that I've run into time or two. And uh, maybe one of you knows more about it than I do. I only have my own observations to go on. It seems there are some beings with human form whose energy bodies, their subtle bodies, are very, very dark and uh, outstandingly dark, uniformly dark. The ones that I ran into had the shape of women. There were two of them. And uh, they were both very sexually attractive and uh, younger women. And uh, it seemed the form of a woman, but their energy bodies were outstandingly dark. And uh, I'm not too sure what to think about it, except to say that uh, beings like that, they really stand out if you can see the, uh, the aura and the energy field of, of, of human forms. Those sorts of beings are very, uh, very, very different from almost every other human being on Earth. And uh, I, I don't really know what it is about exactly, whether it's a different type of being or if it's a human being that has been, uh, whose soul field has been very greatly damaged by the demon realm, I'm not sure. So there's that big question mark. What are those t types of beings? I ran into also uh, a male uh, being, I, it had human form, but I never saw it physically uh, on the physical plane, but on the astral plane I ran into it very, very much, and it seemed that that being was sometimes male and sometimes female in physical form. I don't know how that would be, whether it's because they were a hermaphrodite or what. And. Um, their, their thought processes were very, 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 very dark. It wasn't the desire body so much as the thoughts that were different from most people's. So uh, everything that they thought was criminal, criminal in tendency, like what you call antisocial personality type thoughts, not the same game, ball game as, as people walking down the street, those people that you meet, not the same ball game at all. So that's a different kind of like changed being uh, with, a, with a mental field that's been very demonized or darkened by past lifetimes, hard to say, but very much a standout. Then uh, two times, I think it was, I ran into a kind of being that's very tall. In both cases, it was a man. One was um, a man from India, and the other was a man from China, perhaps. Uh, and both maybe s seven feet tall. Anyway, very tall. And in each case, they were phalanxed or flanked by two other they were human beings. And uh, let's see, the one man who was uh, the very, very tall Indian person, super tall, uh, had two extremely beautiful uh, Indian ladies, the same height, one on each side of him, young women, very young. And the one that was um, long ago, the Chinese gentleman, or it could have been some other Oriental uh, nationality uh, had two men, one on each side of him, also shorter than him but taller than those two ladies for the other person. And uh, those two men were matched in height and in like brain capacity. In each case, the two people on each side had greatly inferior brain uh, psi ability to that of the tall person that stood in the center. They would wheel and, and walk with him as if they were one person. And it looked to me like their brain fields, their mini newospheres were completely controlled by that 
tall, very tall being in the center as if they were providing extra uh, like uh, RAM you know on a computer extra it's it's like they were the plug-in like memory devices and he was the computer <laughs> so um you know they were to me those tooth trios were extremely it felt threatening to me because of their vast the vast sciability of the person in the middle and uh, I, I would say so far of those that I've talked about it's very good to begin to recognize uh, uh, psychic abilities and uh, subtle bodies the auric energy field try and distinguish that in people that you are strangers that you're passing in the street and in finding in the stores and so forth because uh, people of, of this sort that I've mentioned are not the types of people that you want to be around you want to make a very quick exit don't test your metal or text your test your courage or your uh, your physical strength against people like that or beings like that you know just for the as the ascension and the awakening continue to happen just stay um, comfortably safe and 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 joyful I think happy secure and that includes not being around beings like that those two tall beings I I, I have question whether they were genetically engineered to be a very high psi ability and very tall and very physically healthy whether there's an institute someplace that does that and creates those triads with one dominant person and two people that are early more or less mental slaves uh, because I saw two so I wonder about that if that's some genetic experiment somewhere then another time uh, about the year 2000 I saw two a man and a woman walking up the stairs to uh, like a church or temple and they were both very tall not quite as tall as the triad center figures but very impressive very tall people and their minds did not work like the minds of normal people do I would say they might have been genetically engineered spiritual adepts it's hard to explain it's as if they thought that they were a master race and or members of a master race here on earth that was um, engineering the the progress of the species so uh, and as if they had the ability to ensnare people in karmic nets for instance uh, so as to achieve their ends um, so that's another kind of being that our class of being that exists here on earth again looking very human uh, but but not human in insofar as their subtle bodies are concerned uh, there are people on earth who uh, are gifted with s s strong psychic abilities to the negative like here and there on earth there are these sorts of people who uh, are gifted with these abilities by the disembodied uh, astral forms of members of the thuggy cult uh, and I don't mean by that just the thuggy cult of India which practiced um, psi abilities for the sake of like robbing travelers and taking their lives and so forth but rather a class of people all around the world found here and there around the world who had these psychic abilities and used them uh, for their own gain and then moved into the astral realm and now there are many many of them in the astral realm that can't get out and back into form because of the Great Awakening and uh, these beings are gifting whoever they can persuade that specifically wants money or power or like a lot of sexual activity one of those you know um, lower triangle lures that uh, that they can provide through uh, gifting these people with psychic abilities and from that they siphon off 
the brightness of their soul field and those of the people that, that are victimized by them. So uh, those are astral beings that are really preying upon uh, some people on earth who want worldly power or other otherworldly lures. And so uh, you'll find that they usually have the ability to hypnotize people, for instance, or if they want to put it kind of fancy like they say mind control people and the power to do that comes from these other beings that exist on the uh, on the astral plane the thuggy um, astral forms of, of people who have passed on so then uh, I've heard from the theosophy st texts that I've read there's also a class of being that roams the earth that was once human and, um, and did too much shape-shifting, too much shifting into animal form and descended back towards that and lost the, the higher qualities of, 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 uh, of the energy field and, and somehow either lost them in this lifetime and now roams the earth as just um, a bestial kind of um, predator with a really um, with a really keen and cunning mind of a human, but not the higher faculties of the human. Uh, or else somehow got onto the, um, onto the astral plane, passed on, and then the, the astral form of that being, which is very degraded and very bestial and animalized, uh, is able to inhabit um, people who are have blown away their 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 higher faculties with drugs, or who are uh, have like organic diseases of the brain, for instance, or who have so much soul wounding uh, that they that they just can't think straight at all. I mean, this is a very uh, limited class of people in the world today who can be uh, taken over and obsessed by those bestial beings of the astral plane. So what I've been finding in, finding in recent years is that uh, it's good to just sit in nature, maybe at a quiet park out in the country. Like today, I'm sitting in this most beautiful place under the shade of some pepper trees which grow well here in California even without much water. and there's a green grass in front of me and a beautiful mountain uh, towering off in the distance. Native sycamore trees, I believe, all around. It's pretty cool. Children playing here and there. Very cool. And, uh, and I cherish this space, this, this quiet space all around me. Behind me, behind the fence, there are horses. I can hear them snorting every once in a while. It reminds me of my childhood. It's, it's very cool. And it's much, uh, it's much more peaceful than being around tons of people. It's far more uh, invigorating for the energy field than sitting and watching a computer or a television or like a movie theater. It's um, very refreshing just to be sitting in a very quiet place in the dappled sunlight, enjoying the beauty of the natural world.